Hello everybody, this is Mr. Step Maniac. Thanks for watching my video today of how to create a sim file for Step Mania. I've been getting a lot of requests and I got a request uh, from someone saying uh, you should do a video of how to create a sim file. And I thought, hmm, might be a good idea too since I don't see any videos right now on YouTube that do it. Either that I haven't looked, but I'm going to show you how to create one. And I know a lot of people have been asking, hey, how do you go? How do you create one? How do you make a song for Step Mania? Well, that's what I'm going to do here today. I'm going to show you how to do it in the most easiest way I can and I hope you uh, learn how to do it do it on your own from here on okay so let's get started first of all we need to create the song folder that's the song that Stamp Mania is going to recognize so that it can play the song so I always usually create my song folders on my desktop so that's what I'm going to do let's do the song um, I don't know let's just pick any song let's do do tomorrow one of my good favorite songs because it's just a crazy song if you haven't heard of it uh, look on YouTube look, look do tomorrow you'll see my sim files too I've been posting up um, my sim files that I've been uh, that I posted up on bedmoneystyle.com you can find me there you know uh, my channel has information of how to get my songs and sim files there so you can look there to do it but uh, what I have done is that I have recorded every single song that I have made and I put it on YouTube so check out my videos you might like them and like how the songs are and the steps Basically, I'm just giving you a preview of how the steps look when you play the song. So, it's like a, it's like a, how do you say it? A preview of what what the song is about, how hard it is, and how hard it, uh, how cool it is. So, all right, so let's uh, let's create the f uh, file. Do it tomorrow. Okay, there it is. And as you can see, there's nothing inside the folder. So we need to put something in this folder. First of all, you need the song. So I'm going to pull out the song out of a out of step mania you guys will have the song in another folder or on your desktop somewhere so just keep it at handy so right now I'm just gonna take the sample song that we're doing out of one of my uh, folders in step mania as well so let's just click the regular do tomorrow copy it and make sure it goes into the folder you're doing okay so there you go the songs ready to go now what we must do now is create a DWI file that is a Dance with it's called the dance with intensity file, but it's DWI for short. Okay, so what we had to create one is pretty much simple. Just take any pre-existing DWI files in your Step Mania folder and your songs folder. I know you have like songs already, so just use one and just copy it and paste it. So let's like take uh, a place in time, which I'm probably gonna be posting up as a sim file pretty soon. So copy it and uh, paste it right here see oh oops took the wrong file but basically what you need to do is use a pre-existing DWI file and modify it a bit you just need to delete a few things off of it as you can see um, to get a DUI file so you can able to read it just uh, put your DW file as a notepad file so just change it to a notepad file so that way you're able to read it you're able to click on it and it'll come up okay so there's the DWI file up as you can see we got a few things up here we got the title the artist the file the BPM and so on and so on and so on what your mo main focus here is is to delete the title the artist the file and anything after it says single maniac 10 delete all those numbers all the way till the end and get rid of them just leave the single maniac 10 there when you once you have done that you should just have oh let me forget if a song if you're just using one of your songs and it has a change BPM too, just delete the whole thing just delete that whole code just leave it like that delete everything delete change BPM that way it's much simpler to create your file okay so eventually it should look all like this I have one ready for when I create my songs it's already ready to go and this is how it should look like as you can see, title, artist, file, BPM, gap. Don't worry about gap, simple start, simple length, and all that. You're going to do that when you start creating your steps and edit, editing and syncing the file. So, Okay, let me close out of that. Well, actually, I'm going to need this, sorry. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to call the file do tomorrow. Okay, the artist is Mr. T. He's a very good artist, good music. You should check it out on YouTube. The file is the name of the MP3 file. So take the file you have. You need the name, so just click rename, copy that name, control C or copy whatever you want to do, or just type it in. It's it's up to you. And just paste it in. You must put MP3 
at the end of the title. On all titles, you must put MP3 or else it won't recognize it. Okay, so there you go. And pretty much it's ready to go. All you need to do now is just save it as a DWI file. When I uh, save my DWI files, I only use the first word of the title of the song. So that's it makes it short and simple. So you don't have to go through all this trouble of creating, of figuring out how you're gonna name this dang thing. So since it's due tomorrow, the first word is due. So do dot DWI. You must put dot DWI after every title of your DWI file. So it must contain it or I won't save it as a DWI file. All right, then we save it. And there it is. It's in there now. That's how you create a SIM file. Basically, that's basically how you do it. That's the basics right now of how to get started with the SIM file. Now, when it comes to banners and all that stuff, uh, the great program to use would be Photoshop CS3 or C any of the CSs would work. Just you'd get a pre-existing picture, cut it down a bit, and uh, create a background and cut it down with there. I'll show in another video. I'll be showing you how to do a banner in background uh, with another song. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll be uh, creating one for that too. So right now I'm just showing you how to create a sim file for the for the game. All right. So now that we got that ready, all you need is those two files to get started. And there's our file here. So what I'm going to do now is put it in the Step Mania folder. So go to your Step Mania folder. I don't know what it's called. It may be different. Mine's just called Step Mania CVS um, 4.0. It's the most newest uh, Step Mania out there. You can find it on StepManiaOnline.com and just find it there and download it. Um, what I'm going to do here is this. You know, many people have a lot of songs on their Step Mania games. So I'm pretty sure you don't want to scroll through all your songs just to find the one you're going to edit. So what I do is I devise a little thing called a rename folder. So as you can see, songs is right here. That's the folder that the program will recognize. We need to change that. We don't want the program to recognize all my songs that I already have already. So rename the folder. As you can see, I already did one with one folder already, songs two. Call it songs three or whatever you want to call it. Just name it something else so you know it's there. That's where all your songs are. And I'm going to create another folder called songs because that's the one that Statmania recognizes. You must create a side folder in here so that it also recognizes the program. Call it whatever you want. I'm just calling it DDR songs for now. And put the song that you're going to edit in there. It makes it short, simple. You don't have to wait through all that loading time just to load all your songs. You have it right there, one song only. It's going to start quick. And to show you that we were successful, I am going to start up the program or the game to show that it was a successful or success. Let it load a bit. I know it takes mine for a little bit to load because we're running the uh, recording software to record this video. But um, as you can see, it starts now. And I'm going to start the game. And as you can see, we are successful at creating a SIM file. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video of how to create a SIM file. We'll be doing a lot more videos of how to create other stuff with a SIM file. Probably my next videos will be how to create the steps, how to create a banner and background, and how to upload your, how to make a recording of your sim of your steps or your your um, the song you're doing, so you can post it on YouTube like I have on my YouTube channel. You can find me on my YouTube channel at stepmaniac1988 at youtube.com, or you could just find my videos and just uh, click one of my video links and then click my title and you find my channel. You can subscribe to me if you want. It'd be cool if you subscribe. And I hope to see uh, more comments from you. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, post them in the um, in the video on the on the comments. And uh, if you have any questions for me, just please email me. My um, email is stepmaniac1988 at yahoo.com. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope for you guys to see many more of my videos and many more of my new sim files that are coming out. Okay, guys, catch you later. This is Mr. Stepmaniac signing out.